Hello beautiful people of the internet! How are you doing today? My name is Jackie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video I'm going to be doing a small book haul for you guys. I have five physical books that I need to haul on my channel. There's also another book that I ordered online recently but isn't going to arrive before I go back to college. Today is the Sunday before I leave to go back to Pennsylvania, so by the time you see this, I will be back on my college campus, at least ideally. I kind of feel like going back to school is a bad idea, so I might have to flee uh, in a couple weeks, but we'll see. Maybe it'll go swimmingly. Anyways, that is enough of an intro. Now the first book that I'm going to officially haul is one that I've actually already read, so I'm not going to talk too long about it. That's The Guest List by Lucy Foley. This was a highly anticipated mystery thriller for me, and my dad bought it for me and shipped it to me, which was so nice of him. Thank you so much, dad. He watches my videos, so maybe he'll see this. Thank you. And I read this in July right after I got it. So if you want my full thoughts on the book, you can watch my July wrap up down below. I have both a non-spoiler and spoiler section for this book in that wrap up. The Guest List is a mystery thriller set on a remote Irish island where Will and Jules are having a destination wedding. However, on the wedding night, someone is murdered, and at the beginning of the book we don't know who it is that died or who it is that killed them. And we follow several different perspectives, including Jules, the bride, Jono, the best man, Hannah, the plus one, Aoife, the wedding planner, and Olivia, the bridesmaid. It says on the back of the book, all have a secret, all have a motive, but only one is a murderer. I overall really enjoyed this one. Again, go watch my July wrap up if you want my full thoughts on this book. This next book I got at Barnes & Noble a little while ago. It's by an author that I read quite frequently, though I don't know a lot about this book in particular, and that is The Mysterious Affair at Styles by Agatha Christie. I got this because this is the very first in the Hercule Poirot mysteries. I have read several Poirot before, not in any particular order, just the ones that people buy from me or that capture my interest, so I thought that it would probably be a good idea to by the first one and in the future try to read them in some sort of chronological order, though it doesn't really matter. You can just pick up any Perot and it's its own contained story. Again, I don't know a lot about the plot of this one, so I think I'll just read the description on the back to you. Who poisoned the wealthy Emily Inglethorpe, and how did the murderer penetrate and escape from her locked bedroom? Suspects abound in the quaint village of Stile St. Mary. From the heiress's fawning new husband to her two stepsons, her volatile housekeeper, and a pretty nurse who works in a hospital dispensary. With impeccable timing and making his unforgettable debut, the brilliant Belgian detective Hercule Poirot is on the case. The next book, I cannot say too much about the plot because it is a sequel. If you watched last week's reading vlog, link down below, you'd know that earlier this month I read An Ember in the Ashes by Zaba Tahir for the first time, and I really enjoyed that one, so I decided I was going to pick up the sequel, A Torch Against the Night. Again, I cannot say too much about this because it is a sequel. I believe it's a direct continuation of the first book. Basically, the concept of this series is that it takes place in an empire that is largely inspired by ancient Rome, and our two main characters are Leia and Elias. Leia comes from the scholar class, which is an oppressed group within the empire, and Elias is training at the Empire's most prestigious military academy, but he is far from a faithful soldier. I think this book also introduces a new perspective, and that's pretty much all I can say about this one. I absolutely love these covers. I think they are stunning. I just love how the book feels in my hand, and I think the art is so beautiful. I mean... That's gorgeous. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. 
The next book that I got is the first in a series, and that is The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White. I read The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein by Kirsten White, which is a feminist retelling of Frankenstein, and I absolutely loved it. So that the fact that she has this new series, which is a retelling of the King Arthur legends, I just knew that was something that I wanted to check out. In this first book, the main character, Guinevere, is sent to wed King Arthur and to help protect Camelot. However, she is actually not who she appears to be. She is not really Guinevere. She is a changeling sent to wed Arthur in her place. This is the first in a trilogy called Camelot Rising, and I am really excited to check this out because I loved The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein. I also have the first book in Kirsten White's and I Darken series, but I have not read that yet. So super excited for this. I love the quote on the back of the dust jacket, which says, there was nothing in the world as magical and terrifying as a girl. I love that. I also want to show you this without the dust jacket because I think it is so pretty underneath. It has this absolutely stunning depiction of a sword with a crown. I did not know this was going to be on the book. So when I took the dust jacket off, I was so impressed. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. I did get the book secondhand, so it is a little bit beat up, but overall it's in great condition and I can't wait to read this someday. I have very high expectations. The last book that I have here physically to haul is Dangerous Alliance, an ostentatious romance by Janike Cohen. I am probably saying her name wrong. I am so sorry. I am constantly mispronouncing people's names. I, I just can't pronounce anything. I'm sorry. It's a character flaw. But this is one that I really wanted to check out because even though it is in a young adult romance genre, and I really don't like just plain romance books, this is a Regency romance inspired by the works of Jane Austen and I absolutely love Jane Austen, so I knew I wanted to check this out. This novel follows Vicky, who is a young woman and a major fan of Jane Austen, and when her sister's husband is exposed as a scoundrel of Mr. Wickham-esque proportions, it becomes Vicky's duty to marry well to keep her family's financial security intact. Vicky's romantic interests include the gorgeous and roguish Mr. Carmichael, her former best friend Tom Sherborne, who may be out for her dowry or her heart, and the silly and foppish Mr. Silby. But then a series of accidents start cropping up around Vicky, which might mean she will never make it to the altar. Sounds really interesting, and I'm a sucker for Jane Austen, so a Jane Austen-inspired romance sounds great to me. I also think the cover of this book is stunning as well. I love the pink and all of the little details. Very, very nice. I actually didn't realize when I bought this book secondhand that it had previously belonged to a library, and when I got it, it was covered in library stickers and plastic, and man, it was so hard to get off because the library had actually glued the plastic onto the book. I thought I could just easily cut it off, and that was not the case. Luckily, I did not damage the book trying to get all that stuff off. It was so difficult. Now this last book, like I said, I don't have physically here with me now. It's on its way, but since I'm leaving tomorrow, I don't think I'm going to be able to have it before this video has to be filmed. But that's because it's coming all the way from England. And the book that I ordered is Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell. I wanted to get a British edition because, well, this is what the British cover looks like. And this is what the American cover looks like. Yeah, I, I like the British one a lot better too. <laughs> I have heard so many good things about this book. It has a super high Goodreads rating. Basically, this is a historical fiction book about William Shakespeare's son Hamnet and how his premature death at a young age inspired the writing of one of Shakespeare's most famous plays, Hamlet. So I am super excited to read this when I finally get my hands on it. I've heard just heaps and heaps of praise, and I'm really interested in Shakespeare and historical fiction, so this is something that I could see myself absolutely loving.
So these are all of the books that I have to haul today, plus Hamnet, which is on its way. Super excited to open that when I get back from college, which we're supposed to be there until Thanksgiving, but I don't know. I might have to flee uh, sooner than that, so we'll see. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. I post new videos every single Wednesday. My social media links are down below if you want to follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, or be my friend on Goodreads. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a chill rest of your day. Bye, and I'll see you in the next video.